Killer bees, the subject of nightmares, and they're living in our wall, entering our home, and overall posing a major safety hazard to us and all the residents. Thou's mom and I don't know if we're allergic, which makes this situation that much scarier. Our property manager isn't taking this seriously. Hiring amateurs. So today, we're going to take matters into our own hands by building a killer bee gun in our most dangerous video ever. Let's build it. We'll start out by building a bee vacuum with some parts we found at a thrift shop. We have to be careful. The killer bees are entering the wall around the drain pipe, which comes through to our balcony. So we want the vacuum to suck on this hole. We designed and printed this custom vacuum nozzle along with a couple other parts to integrate all the pieces together. We'll use this air mattress pump as the vacuum blower. Let's test it out. We crumpled some streamers to be the size and weight of an average bee. Well that sucked, and not in a good vacuum humor kind of way. We realized the lid on this box doesn't create an airtight seal, and neither do our curtains. These bees keep getting inside. It's like a horror movie. We used some foam tape we had laying around to act as a gasket. Okay, now this sucks in the good way. Next, we'll build the gun portion. Now, yes, we know what you're thinking. This isn't necessarily an original idea. Both Emily the Engineer and Alan Pan have tried something similar. Although, in both videos, they tried using the Venturi effect to suck and shoot the bees, with no success. But everything in my little engineering head says it should work and logistically would be our best option because we need a solution fast. We went ahead and added these PVC pipes and connected a hose from the pump. Let's give it a try. Okay, so that didn't work. The pipe appears to be blowing instead of sucking. In hindsight, this makes sense. A vacuum is created in the box due to the blower sucking air out, and a vacuum is created in the pipe by the Venturi effect. The vacuum from the Venturi effect is weaker than the vacuum from the blower, so air is pulled down the PVC pipe instead. To prove this is the case, let's take the PVC pipe out of the box and try again. That's more like it. The blower is blowing air across the T-fitting, creating a low pressure zone and a vacuum up the PVC pipe. That's cool and all, but we need the PVC pipe to suck the killer bees from the box. We can transfer the bees to another container, but that's too risky. We realized that if we disconnect the blower from the box, we could get the Venturi effect to work in the box. Now let's try it with this long pipe as the barrel. Huh. Okay, it's blowing again. There must be too much resistance with this long pipe. We would test this more, but the sun is set and it's now quiet hours at our apartment. But what we will do now is attach the vacuum hose to the hole.
Something we've noticed while living with these killer bees is that they actually sleep at night. As soon as the sun sets, they're back in their hive and calm. So this is the perfect time to do this. Last night, we added a shorter barrel and stuck it all into this toy gun. We proudly present to you our BB gun. Let's try this thing out. But first, before anyone gets upset about us shooting bees, let's get some facts straight. These are confirmed to be killer bees by bee experts. Killer bees, or Africanized bees, are an invasive species. They were the result of an experiment in Brazil to develop a bee that could produce more honey. While they were successful, they also produced a more aggressive bee. The bees escaped and began invading native bee habitats. Killer bees will outcompete native bees to their favorite food. So with that in mind, in order to truly save the native bees, we have to get rid of these invasive killer bees. All right, let's fire this thing up. We'll run the vacuum a bit to collect some ammo. Looks like we got a few dead killer bees that were near the hole. Now, to put this thing in shooting mode, we'll disconnect the blower and then open this valve to allow the bees to enter. Huh, it's not working. The pipe is blowing instead of sucking again. Thinking about it more, it probably has to do with the smaller inner diameter of the pipe, regardless of the length. Let's go ahead and remove the barrel altogether. The killer bees should still make it through the BB gun. Let's fire this up one more time. It's working! Take that, killer bees! Get out of here! It's been about a week now and the bees have since transitioned to the roof. So, I think it's time to concede and call in the professionals. <laughs>